and I haven't heard from Monsef, but it's Sunday, so it's cool, I get it, I understand. Uh, hopefully, you'll get back to me tomorrow, and I can finish with the final tune, get my flame map, which I'm really dying to, like, you know, try out. And, um, so I was able to connect... I think I mentioned this a while back, how there's a ECU tech app that lets you lets you uh, connect to the to the OBD2 port dongle that goes in the in there. And I was gonna show you guys right now what that kind of looks like. Trying to find a way to position this. It's not easy. So essentially, you launch the app. You have to make sure your your um, Bluetooth is on. Okay, you get this. Um, when you're initially pairing, you just, you know, like you just, like you were pairing any headphones, any wireless headphones or anything like that. I'm sure everybody's done that at some point in their life. Yeah. So it's very simple. You just look for the name. It's really, it's really not that hard to, um, to mistake when you see it on the list of devices that you're trying to pair to. So once you do that, you hit my car. Okay. And then you got some options. You have info dashboard data logging um, so if you want to do data logging on your phone just for yourself uh, map switching DTC tool OBD2 readiness um, performance analyzer ECN tool and fuel pump okay this is the dashboard you have RPM mile per hour and coolant temperature I think those are the three that that were initially there I added the the AFR the intake air temperature and the engine oil temperature you can actually add a whole lot more if you hit if I can find it if you touch the screen you get these you get the little uh, editing it's like a little pencil and then, and then I can't remember what the folder is but if you hit that so it basically gives you to you in this form of grid and you can move these around wherever you want you can go to you can have another one so you can add more gauges here if you want with more other parameters um i haven't had the need to add any more um but you know i'll look i'll look over so actually let's try one real quick so let's go to the second screen you hit plus okay um, how do you want it? Do you just want text? Uh, it says horizontal bar, vertical bar, gauge, chart. And I think I like gauge. So parameter, this is where you choose what you want. Um, look at that AC pressure sensor. I guess if you really need to see that, you're working on an air conditioning, a diagno diagnosing air conditioning problems, compressor problems. Um, it has all these AFR. Um, let's add atmospheric pressure. Okay, that's the gauge. And you can still make some changes, whatever. You can add, it's really cool because you can add, um, I guess, like alarms to like uh, minimum value and max value. And so if like it hits those values, I, I, I haven't tried it yet, I suppose. I guess it's supposed to kind of like alert you. So you hit the check mark and we'll leave it here in the middle for now, just for testing. Hit the check mark again and there you are. That's your uh, vacuum, 13.6. And as you, you know, obviously as you rev, it changes. And then back to the first screen. So. The other cool thing is this DTC tool, which I hope this stuff is coming out okay in camera. Um, this is if you have 
uh, DTCs you can clear them here if you do have them you just hit that little X right there and that clears it I do have one BCM I think when I look this up it has something to do with the TPMS sensors I think one of them the ones on the one of the ones on my on the driver's side front or left I'm not sure which one is going bad but it gives you all these TCMs uh, HVAC codes uh, ABS HVAC IPDM I'm not sure what those are bong rock ECU not detected so I guess that's not a feature that this reads and then I'm pretty sure that's airbag and then um, so once I have all my maps from Monsef, I can go to map switching and you can go this is my the one that I'm on now admin tuning 91 octane admin tuning 91 plus <laughs> I'm not gonna say that word but you know what it is and I'm pretty sure that's the flame map um, then then there's this economy mode which I don't, I'm not sure what it is yet. I have to ask them. And then there's a security mode, which I have to ask them because I don't know what that does. Then you have, actually, did we look at the DTC? Yeah, we did already. DTC, okay, OBD2 readiness. This just tells you, you know, if everything's passed, all the parameters. So whenever you go get a smog, all these have to be cleared and good to go. Especially if you live in California, freaking California. Luckily, out here in Arizona, you don't have to do that. Um, well, you do and you don't. You don't have to run on a dyno. You just have to make sure you have no check engine lines and all of these have been met. Then we have performance analyzer. So this thing's really cool. You can do, you can set these. I actually set some of these myself. So you can do zero to 100. Uh, quarter mile, half a mile, be, um, I don't know what VMAX is. Maybe I'll do another video on that. Then you have ECM tool. So here with this one, you can do the ECU reset. So you can actually reset your, your, your ECU and you know, everything that the computer has learned from the point of the, the map that we have uploaded, it'll delete all that and it'll start over. So. I think that's kind of kind of uh, useful for when you go through like really different temperature changes. So like out here, believe it or not, in the winter time, it actually gets really cold to the point where there's like, you know, ice on the grass, ice on the roof. So that might be a good time to do that and then have the car kind of like relearn all over to, to different, uh, you know, uh, different season of weather. So able to chirp second easy even third sometimes and not, not even that red line just at you know mid-range 5,000 rpm you know you throw it in throw it in third gear and sometimes it'll chirp or the car will kind of you know I, I guess like in the front wheel drive car it's like torque steer it, it kind of you know uh, I don't know if this has an open diff or not I think it does so that's probably why I feel one wheel you know getting more power than the other it tends to go left a little bit so you kind of have to be ready uh, when you're doing that it, it's not anything that I'm worried that I'm gonna go crash or anything like that but it's definitely something that you know that's noticeable so I'm um, anyway so I'm hoping you know maybe I'll talk to him about uh, you know I don't know how firm he went I don't know if, 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 how do you you know if there's different levels or what levels you know level I'm at maybe I'll have them like down a notch or something or maybe i'll leave it alone i don't know we'll see at the, the at the track is where i really gotta really come into into play the effect but yeah you know just right now just going out for a drive i'm gonna go pick up my nephew just out and about enjoying temperature went down to 92 
very exciting. I want to see where, where we're at. Obviously, by then I need to do a couple maintenance things. I want to do an oil change. I got to clean the intakes because um, I'm sure there's a video where I showed that I cut those uh, those plastic covers from the fog lights out. Hey, I'm back. So it's been it's been a couple days since I since the last clip, and what's happened in between there is I did get uh, some final maps from Monsef, and uh, that included the flame map. Uh, tried it, and it didn't work for some reason. And we tried that a couple times. We went back and forth. Nothing didn't want to work. So. He finally had me send him a screenshot of um, in in the software where when you open the software in the computer there's a spot where you can go and you can uh, query query the ECU and he had me send me send him that info for compatibility he thought there, there might have been something wrong with my ROM so anyways <clears throat> um, went back and forth a couple days and uh, eventually uh, a few days ago, two days ago, um, finally got the darn thing to work, and I don't have the video of when you know the upload or whatever. But I did shoot some some exhaust videos. Uh, I attached the GoPro to the rear bumper, and um, they actually sound pretty good. Um, so that's the good news. I have good news and bad news. The bad news is. I have another exhaust leak and this time I think it's coming from the header on the driver's side. So my transaction is done with Monsef and um, at this point I'm not, yeah, you know, I'm a little, obviously I'm bummed, you know, because I, I, you know, it finally the, the, the maps are working and then I hear this like I go turn on the car in the morning and I hear this really um, like I've had exhaust leaks before so I know what they sound like um, they have a very distinct sound and when I heard it at startup it was very obvious I got under the car and it sounded like it's coming from the driver's side header area uh, or where the test pipe is you know I don't know if it's a burn gasket could be could be a crack header again Either way, I already knew that I was going to be taking these off. Anyways, the D DC headers have been a freaking nightmare. Um, you know, just I the company. So Amazon, I called Amazon and they they sent me. They actually they're actually allowing me to return, even though it was already past uh, the cancellation period or whatever that you have within the app. So they sent me a. Uh, uh, shipping label and all I had to do is take these off throw them in the box and the bag they'll give me my refund so that's a good thing um, but just the fact that I had to go you know through all this and um, you know really believe that this company DC Sports actually you know made good products but you know I, I really can't say that now um, actually my brother-in-law told me a couple years ago he had a set of headers for one of his cars and his broke too. The wells actually broke broke too. So, um, you know, live and learn, I guess. So stay away from DC DC sports headers, unless you're you know you're willing to take that chance, get something a little cheaper. I went the cheap route. You know, sometimes you go the cheap route and you end up paying for it. But at least I'm gonna get my money back. And so, anyways, so now I have to go through that whole 
deal again of taking off. At least it shouldn't be that hard. It shouldn't be that bad. I, you know, I've done it before now, and it's not like when I first did the the factory ones with the heat shield, and that took a while. And you know, anyways, it should be a lot easier. And I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna get. I did ask Monse for his opinion on which ones are the best ones, and he told me that he recommends the PPE, ISR, and the Z1 headers. I don't know which ones. I kind of started looking into the, these. I like the Z ones, but something on their website caught my attention. I'm gonna give them a call. Something about having to modify the one of the motor mounts. And I'm like, why do why we need to make any modifications? It should just be bolt-on. That kind of stuff scares me, especially at that price. And not only that, you have to buy the downpipe too. So I think it's 1200 bucks just for the header. And then I don't know how much for the, for the test pipe. Um, I believe I looked at the PP is in the ISR and um, I think those are like long tube headers, those two. So, so we'll see, I, I have to do some research. I don't, I, I wanna pick a set of headers that's gonna be on there for couple years and I'm not gonna have any issues with no cracks um, you know nothing no fitment issues I don't want to have to modify it anymore than I already have it's you know it's kind of ridiculous at this point especially if you're gonna be paying for something that's a thousand dollars or more it should you shouldn't have to be modifying anything but anyways um, so that's where I'm stuck at um, decided I'm gonna keep the car in the garage until I finally get around to doing that but you know so this will probably be my my last video for a while and but I'm gonna leave you with some clips from that I shot a couple of days ago of the exhaust actually sounds good really good so uh, thanks again for watching um, please don't forget to hit the like and this uh, subscribe buttons and I will keep uh, pushing out some some more stuff um, like I said headers and then a retune, yeah, that's another one. That's an, another 150 bucks. Then I have to pay Monsef to retune the car with the new headers. But anyways, all right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.